Okay, guys, let's start with the Ray tutorials. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to show you how you can communicate between the model simulator and the uh, and you can access the data on the Excel sheet through the Cape servers. Uh, for that, let's start the simulation. Mode was sim slave simulation, and for that we have to start a virtual virtual serial port. Well, it is already running. You can see here. I've already started. Okay, and to make the connection with slaves here, <coughs> two of the connections. Com one. Everything else board red and data bit even bit. Even parity and stop it. Let give it as it is. Press OK. For now, we have to get the setup. Let's see PLC. Let's start the address for one of the PLC. Here, if you select two PLC addresses, you have to start from the one. Okay. This one is for input registers. Now we create another files for the output for the holding registers let's run the holding registers we start from one this is previous PLC addresses it's okay you know what in a holding register you can edit the uh, you can write data as what you need in Input register, you can edit the data. Let's, let's start auto increment the values. We only use uh, four data two for uh, input register and two for uh, holding registers. Okay. Now go for now for the setting for the cape server. Here, yeah, right click and go, go for the settings. In the runtime process, select interactive. Press OK. Now open the Keep Servers. Here, I have already created a similar channels. And for sample, I have this, for this way you can create another channel channels. And you have to go for more was at you. More was at is real. Next channel, whatever you give the name for channel. I have already used simulators, and you can can give any name as per you your requirement or whatever you like. So we will me Siemens six. Means com port you have to go for one yes this is this is connected in com id one okay next keep on next next keep on pressing next until you finish in this way and see and now if you can edit the device Leave every field as it is. Now here you can add um, tags or value. Let's put data one for addresses for input address. It's a page one. Okay. You can change this read only. As I told you, input registers are only read only memory. And if for data true, data true, and use the holding register to uh, like two, three, four, one. Here you can see client access read and write it means you can we can read data of this address and even write on this this address too. Okay, in this way you can create a connection. In this cape server, I have already used the case simulator, so 
app you delete this one this way you can create channel also right? and now time for excel for excel here i have already created excel and it is reading value and so it is reading value of this simulator value so device let me show you Here you can see their value of slip simulator. Yeah. Okay. We are going to assess these values from Excel disposable tool. Nice. Yes. Yeah, for Excel, add formula. We will have to put the formula like this here. Okay. Let's suppose we copy this software here just to show you. And in here you can see the data. And this is the formula you have to put in each cell if not you will need. Okay, done. You can check the formula for value one, for value two, value three, value four. Let's confirm the value. Here is the value data 1, data 2, data 3, and data 4. No, no, I want more thing. Uh, as I previously told you, uh, we can even we can assess data and even write data in holding register that is d3 and d4. Initially, you have 0, 0. Yes, I'll pick the autograph agreement. Now, if I press here, it will write the data in 00, zero input will have 00, zero input into holding register. You can see here 00. zero. Okay, and suppose we have to put the value 56, another math will be 39, and write the data. You can see. Get the data also. You can even modify the value. Okay. And uh, yeah. I have write, I have a macro for this writing the data in select address. For that you have to open the Visual Basic and here is the Visual Basic script for writing the value for data three and data four. This way. You can write the data in slips or holding address and even read data from slips input registers and holding registers. This one is bottom line and I have assigned a micro that I have already created before. Anyway, I press the suppose it's uh, 9 and 93. Whenever I press on this button, the data. Uh, it is update the value of data 3 and data 4. So, we do update it. And same is required on EFT model simulator 2. This way, we can communicate or uh, assess data of mode was slipped in Excel through Tech Server. You can, this is just a simulation. You can even uh, use PLC or any other field devices which which uh, support the modus communication okay guys thank you for today